My name is Jake Hornblower. We're at uh, the Stock House Grill, and today we're going to make for you buffalo mac and cheese. Lagoma Steel, number seven blast furnace. All blast furnaces have an area known as a stockhouse where the raw material go into the furnace. And so the stockhouse is a place where a lot of people in Sault Ste. Marie have worked. Uh, members of my family have worked there. My dad worked there for many years. Actually, his hard hat is on display behind us. And uh, so it's a place that's a dirty place to work, but people seem to have a lot of fun there at times. And so we want that sort of a community thing going on here. And that's where we came up with the name. We don't really do anything that anybody else doesn't do, we just do it a little better. We have it with a little bit of verve. So we have gourmet burgers, uh, we do mac and cheese, but we do gourmet mac and cheese. So uh, your mac and cheese can be done with uh, buffalo chicken, cheeseburger mac and cheese, mushroom and spinach, just a little bit of sass to your mac and cheese. So basically we're gonna make, we have our bachamel sauce already made. So we're gonna take our bachamel sauce, we're gonna thin it out with a little bit of milk, we're going to add lots of cheddar cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and then finish it with our chicken and buffalo sauce. So first thing we do, get our pan on, and we're going to thin it out with a little bit of milk. And it's going to start to thicken up again once it cooks back down. Let that come up to a boil, get our cheese ready. So now that we got that hot, we're going to start adding in some of our cheddar cheese. Turn it down so we don't burn it. And then we're going to add our noodles. And we're going to also add some of our slow roasted chicken. Just turn our heat down and we'll give it a few minutes to let the noodles and the chicken and everything warm up. Then we're just going to give it a taste. Make sure you always taste your food. We're going to give it a little bit of Parmesan cheese for a little bit of sharpness. And finish it with our buffalo sauce. And then we're going to plate it in our bowl. And we're just going to finish it with, this is some breadcrumbs and melted butter. Just to give it a little bit of a crunch. And there you have it. It's our buffalo mac and cheese. <laughs>